Hi YouTube! On this channel I have done a lot of programming. I have implemented different communication protocols, but I have never left user space. Today let's change this. Today let's enter kernel space. So I want to make a series of videos about how to write your own Linux kernel modules and Linux device drivers. But as I want to keep my videos short, I will split the whole thing into multiple videos. And here you can see my agenda. So now we are in the introduction part. In the next video I will write a simple Hello World Linux kernel module. Then I will pick the code and add a device number and create a device file by using the bash. The next step is to automatically create the device file within your Linux kernel modules and I will add some callback functions for reading and writing um, to the device file. And here at 4 we will create our first real Linux device driver and I will use a GPIO driver which can toggle the LED and read back the input of a button as an example. And then we will write some more driver, drivers. Here a driver for a text LCD display, a driver for a PVM module, and a driver for a temperature sensor which is connected over I2C. And in my last video I will show you how to write the driver for a simple little servo motor by using high resolution timers. And as you can see here I want to connect something to my programming platform. I will use I2C GPIOs. So yeah, what platform will I use? Okay, as you can see here, I will use a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. And I will use it for two reasons. Reason one, if I crash something, um, my recording setup won't crash, only my Raspberry Pi will crash. And the other reason is the GPIO pins available on a Raspberry Pi. So I can connect to my LED, to my text display, and to my temperature sensor over I2C. So if you don't have a Raspberry Pi 3, <laughs> yeah, you can do most of my videos on older Raspberry Pis. I am not quite sure if older Raspberry Pis have a um, PVM IP built in the chip, but most of the videos you can do on any on any hardware platform, on any Raspberry Pi, and for the first three videos you can do on every PC as we don't access any IOs there. Okay, and now let's talk a little bit about the preparation necessary to use a Raspberry Pi for Linux kernel modules. It's a good thing about a Raspberry Pi if you're running Raspbian, you have all the build utils already installed. You have the GNU compiler collection, you have make, you have a text editor. So you only need to install the kernel modules for the Raspberry Pi. And you can do it by running the command sudo apt get install Raspberry Pi kernel headers. And then you're ready to go. So I think I have talked enough. Talked enough. Let's start coding. And I will see you in the next video.